everyone today I'm gonna to be doing a Halloween look actually costume is probably the word I'm gonna be doing hair makeup costume everything and there's gonna be a little twist at the end this costume this look is perfect for procrastinators like me people that wait to the last second to do anything even though it falls on the same day every year and it's something that you cannot avoid knowing is coming if you can't get your life together on the level that I can't thumbs up this video we're in this together I got you we're gonna get ready for Halloween this is my 80s workout girl look I found a video on YouTube and it's called well at least on YouTube it's called the super body low impact aerobic workout 1987 VHS I'm inspired by one of the girls outfits not even the main girl one of the girls in the back because you know of course I identify with her plus her outfit is on amazing so her outfit I found a couple of pictures on Pinterest where I really like the makeup also the hair inspired by my own mother she didn't wear makeup in the 80s but she did all of the hair anyway let's just do the makeup I'm gonna list all the products I'm using in the description down below if you're curious this is my primer it's the makeup forever hydrating primer it's what I've been loving lately for my foundation I'm using the benefit hello happy foundation I've been wearing it all the time lately and today I'm using four or five I can't decide I think I'm more of a five on my body because I self tanned but from the pictures I've seen from the 80s, I feel like a lot of women went for like lighter face, darker body. I don't know if I should go for that look, so maybe I'm just gonna mix them. So it'll be just like a tiny bit lighter. I don't know, let's just see how it works. You have to mix this foundation like this. There's like a little ball in there. I love this foundation. Have you guys tried it? I talked about it on my channel before. I did like a little wear test review. And since then, I have been wearing it all the time and this is how i put it on i don't normally mix my colors like this so i might have just put on way too much but i think that's a very 80s technique so maybe that's okay oh shoot i totally forgot my color corrector oh well by the way just so you don't get your hopes up this is most likely not going to be the most historically accurate 80s makeup tutorial but this is the look i liked and i'm trying my best i promise I'm gonna add a little more because I got a little zit on my face. Next up, this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have mine in a creme brulee. I love this stuff. I'm running out of it. I've been using it hardcore ever since I got it and it's perfect for covering up redness. So I always use it around my nose and anytime I have a spot or like a healing zit or whatever where it's just like faintly red forever and ever and ever and ever like right here it's perfect for covering up those areas so i've been loving it forever and here's one right here little baby i also like to go over my lids with this lately i've been definitely too lazy for eyeshadow and definitely too lazy for eye primer but today is the day we wear in all the eyeshadows so i gotta do a little something up here Okay, since I forgot my color corrector before, I'm gonna be popping on the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. I like this, I use it basically every day because I have veins under my eyes and in these inner corners. I usually apply it before my foundation, but I was too busy thinking about living in the 80s and wishing I did. I don't know if they used color correctors back then. They probably did. I think they used all the makeup back then. And now for my under eye concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using it in light neutral because the picture I was inspired by for the makeup, she has a really bright under eye. So I'm going a shade lighter than I normally would. And I'm gonna go down my nose. Now I'm just blending it in, blending, blending, blending. And I'm also blending it up onto my eyelid because that just helps cover any veins and helps set the stage for any of my future eyeshadow endeavors. Next up, I'm grabbing my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm mostly setting the areas where I use my concealer around my nose, on my nose, under my eyes, but I'm really just gonna be setting absolutely everywhere. I'm going for a matte look today. Ooh, and do you like my nails? I did them especially for this video. It makes sense with the costume, I promise. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put on my earrings. I have been naked this entire video and I had no idea. 
Unfortunately, when I moved, I was way too efficient with cleaning out my jewelry collection. I have always kept like ridiculous jewelry around and I'm positive I threw away like the best 80s earrings ever and these are the only ones I think will work. Luckily, they're pretty good. I got these from Madewell mm, the summer, not too long ago. And they're just giant stars dangling from my ears. Check them out. Oh my gosh. This is actually a pretty simple makeup look because I'm going for kind of like a monochromatic thing. It's like pink on pink on pink on pink. And you don't have to do all of the steps like contouring, baking, like 500 steps for your brows. Like it's pretty much like straight to the point. This is the 80s. You've got to get to the mall immediately. Next up, I'm going to work on my brows. And this is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the color Tapered. It's a little bit darker than I normally go because I want a bold brow look. I love this brow product, 80s look or not. I've talked about it before. It has kind of a felt tip, almost like an eyeliner tip pin on this side. And then on this side, it has a little sponge that has powder in it. I think this is especially really good for a very like feathery brow and a more like bushy brow look, which I achieve very easily. I have crazy, crazy brows and I don't take care of them that well, but it works for the 80s costume, right? I can just blame it on that, right? Anyway, here we go. I'm just using the eyeliner look inside and I'm pretty much just like filling in the whole brow and messing up along the way. That's just my technique, don't question me. And then towards the front of the brow, I go up and down like this. And it sort of creates the bushy shape that I think I'm making. Okay, I got a little carried away with the brows, but I'm just gonna pretend that's what I was going for. It's Halloween, that's okay. Okay, next up for the eyeshadow, I'm grabbing the new Urban Decay Naked Cherry Eyeshadow Palette. This is a really cool palette, especially for the fall, especially for your 80s look. It was the first thing I thought of when I saw this palette. It's a lot of like plum, pinks, shimmery like nudie brownie cherry shades i don't know this is just a very nice palette especially for me i have hazel eyes that i like to pretend are green and these kind of shades really bring out the green so we're just gonna go in real hard with this palette. I think it was actually in the 90s, but I'm pretty sure I had a Barbie that had giant star earrings like this. I showed my mom my like little trial run of my hair and makeup that I did because yes, I actually did attempt to prepare for this video for once in my life. And she was like working out Barbie, which is a Barbie that I had. And it actually came with this tape with this song. It was like working out, working out Barbie, yeah. And we also had like this little Fisher Price boom box kind of thing that had a microphone on it and it started to kind of die. We just used it way too much and we put the cassette in there and it went working out, working out, boy. <laughs> yeah. And it was like the lowest, creepiest voice ever, but we thought it was hilarious. We were pretty bored, I guess. Anyway, I am first gonna go in with this color Feels, which is kind of like a nice dusty light mauve shade. And I'm just gonna go to town, basically. I feel like whenever you really do in your makeup in the 80s, you just went straight up to the brow. There was no crease color. I mean, there might've been a crease color, but like every color just went straight up to the brow. And there was almost like a little like harsh line right here. They're like, uh-oh, can't go that far in, but they kind of did anyway. Okay, as I work on this eye, I need to ask you an important question. What is your favorite 80s 80s movie and I say 80s twice for a reason I'm not losing it I feel like some 80s movies are just like good movies okay but some movies are like this is an 80s movie like you know of course a lot of the like little brat pack movies pretty in pink it's a great one but I feel like my all-time favorite 80s 80s movie is Valley Girl starring Nicolas Cage it is so good the soundtrack is amazing it's the love story and it's just like a cheesy teen film, but it's so good. Really work it all the way up into the brows. <laughs> it's also important to really like whisk it out, really get it out there like this. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe, I think I forgot this. I could be going crazy, but I think I forgot to tell you this in the intro, which was such a huge mistake because I was trying to rush through the intro because I always feel like my intros are too long. I will never do that again, long intros for life. I'm gonna do the whole look, whole costume, hair, makeup, everything, and then, I am going to be doing the workout, the 1987 super body workout. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but I'm gonna try it. Did anyone else 
instantly gain like five-ish pounds when they got married. Is it just me? Maybe I just stopped working out whenever I got married and had to like pack up and move away and now I live in a new place and never, Not saying like, oh my gosh, I need to work out so bad, but like, hey, it all ties in. Everything is connected. Anyway, carrying on with the eyeshadow, I'm going back to my Naked Cherry palette and I'm gonna grab this color Bing which is a darker kind of purple shade. Same brush, I don't care. Really, I'm just like going to town with this color on the outer third and up into the crease and then also like out into my temple slash hairline. <laughs> I'm also gonna be grabbing a smaller brush and I'm gonna bring that lighter mauve feels down onto the lower lash line pretty aggressively and also grab a little bit of bing too. Okay, was I right or was I right? My eyes look so green now. This should just be my everyday look. I mean, would you guys still watch if this was my everyday look? Would you trust me about makeup at all? Probably not. Okay, next up for my liner, I'm using the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencil in Love Drug, which is a really pretty, wonderful purple shimmery shade. And I'm gonna use that in my lower waterline. Oh boy, this looks like a wackadoodle eye infection. Next up, I'm gonna be adding a little glitter to my lids using this Pop Beauty palette. It's called the Blink Brilliance Twinkle Texture Shimmer Shades. Wow. Okay, so one side has kind of like a metallic-y shimmer shade and this side is just straight up glitter. I've only used it once so far and it went pretty well. I got a compliment. I felt excited. I'm going to be using this kind of cherry red multicolor glitter shade right here and I'm just going to be applying it with my fingers. This is not going to be like an extremely precise application but I feel like that's how they did it in the 80s. I'm not sure if this girl in my inspiration picture had glitter because I can't see her eyelids. It's all her fault but I'm going to assume they're covered in glitter. Okay just a side note this glitter does not care about where you want it to be. It's going its own way. Oh well, I accept it. Okay, now I'm just thinking of all of the like rude looks, disapproving glances, all of the whispers that would happen if you showed up to like a yoga class with this look today. Part two of this is gonna be a social experiment. Watch out, Shane Dawson. Okay, so here's how it looks with the glitter. Obviously, I had a very hard time wrangling it just onto the lid, but I think that's okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of liner. I'm gonna be using the darkest shade in this palette, and I'm just gonna be adding this right on the lash line. I'm not winging it out or anything. I'm just darkening it up. And I'm also gonna run it along the lower lash line, at least out here in the outer third. Okay, now to finish out the eyes, I'm using my little Pixi lower lash mascara that I use for my lower lashes, but I also use it for my upper lashes because I have lash extensions and I really only put a little bit right on the tips because you're not supposed to use any mascara at all and I can't help myself. Oh great, I just got a text and Grant's coming home super early today. Luckily, I'm almost done with my makeup. I can't have my husband seeing me with no makeup on. Okay, now for the real star of the show. Also, look at this brush. This is the perfect time to pull this one out. Thank you, Tarte, for bringing this into my life. This is the cutest, most 80s, most gem brush I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so for my blush, this is the part where you ask yourself if this is a sponsored video. It's not, but yes, Urban Decay did send me their little naked cherry collection, including this blush palette, blush and highlight. You've got this really nice deeper shade of blush in the middle and then two highlight shades on either side. I'm gonna be focusing just in the middle. I'm gonna be going real hard on this blush all over the place because that is the one thing that makes me think like 80s makeup with the blush going up onto the temples like a full on scary, scary third degree sunburn, but like that was the look. So here we go. Somehow this is covered in glitter also. Everything is covered in glitter now. Can't tell if I'm getting color on my brush, but it doesn't really matter because I am just like going in. I want a lot of product. It almost seemed like they, wow. Um, this is a really cute brush, but I don't know if it works. <laughs> no, thank you. That was the cutest brush in the world, but like, no. Okay, back to my tried and true blush brush that I've had for like the entire time I've been on YouTube. Really digging in. I almost feel like they were using their blush in really like bright, vibrant, deep colors under their cheekbone like contour, which I'm kind of into. So I want the most concentration of color to be 
over here by my ear by my hairline like pretty much in the wrong place because that's how they did it so and i want it to kind of like get lighter as it comes into like the apple of my cheeks but basically it just needs to be really really pigmented you got a lot of concentration of color around here and i'm even bringing this blush up over that eyeshadow part and up over into the brow section Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna have to take a legitimate shower and actually wash my hair, <gasps> say it ain't so, to get this out of my hairline because I am working it in. Like I've been putting blush on so long, I kind of feel like the skin is getting a little sensitive. So I'm gonna take a step back. I'm also going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna get a deeper shade. I actually think I'm gonna go back to Bang, which is this kind of like medium purple shade. And I'm gonna use this smaller packed brush and I'm all kind of gonna contour with it. It looks like she had this going on. It could have been that she just has really incredible cheekbones, but I don't know. This is just what I gotta do to create that look. I'm also gonna bring that darker shade up a little bit, but I'm gonna try to keep it really concentrated and not blend it too much. Okay, now I'm going in with a little bit of a darker color, devilish, and I'm pretty much just stamping it on in the cheekbone area. I think that's where I'm supposed to stop. I'm not really sure, but I think this looks good. No, maybe good is not the word. Okay, I want this to be a really matte look, so I'm going in with a little more translucent powder because for some reason I was getting shiny. Ugh. And I still got a whole workout to do and a whole bunch of hair to do. Okay guys, what's wrong with me? I like this look. Like I'm looking at myself and I'm like, girl, we're ready. Let's go out. Next up for the lips, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay lipstick in Devilish, and it's a metalized lipstick. So it's like super glittery, almost kind of like frosty. This is not a color I would normally choose in my everyday life, but it goes perfectly with this look. And surprisingly, with the amount of shimmer in this lipstick, it's not chunky. It's super smooth. And it's just a gorgeous metallic, like hot pink fuchsia. All right, let's zoom it in, take in this makeup for all that it is <laughs> in all of its pink magenta fuchsia glory. Ooh, it's a lot of look, but I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I'm gonna give you a little outfit tour, costume tour before I change into it. I realized I needed to change into my costume before I do my hair because I don't want to do anything that will mess with my creation. Yes, it's that big a deal. So let's look at it. So welcome to the lumpiest, wrinkliest bed you've ever seen in your life. First piece of this costume is a bikini I found on Amazon. Actually, everything for this costume is from Amazon, but this bikini is perfect because obviously extreme high waist on the bottom. And then the top is kind of like a sports bra. It has that kind of fit. Next up are neon pink leggings. Obviously I did this so you could imagine what it's going to be like, but they're like this. They are the absolute perfect color. They are like day glow neon pink. Okay, I guess Luna's decided to help me with this part of the tour. To top it all off, I have some really old school looking all white Reebok sneakers. They've never been worn before, so it's okay that they're on the bed. Also, I have a dog on the bed. Obviously, anything goes. To top it off for real, for real, bright yellow leg warmers. We have sweatbands for the head and the wrists. I think Luna approves. I think this is a good thing. Okay, here we are in the bathroom. I think it's really echoey in here, and I'm sorry, I really didn't think about that until like two seconds before I hit record. Everything's set up, so we're just gonna deal with it. I'm wearing my costume, but I'm also wearing my t-shirt over it because I looked at myself and I was like, hmm, a little more naked than I was planning. So I will be in the whole costume for the workout part, but for the hair part, I'm wearing the t-shirt. Like, let's be real. Nothing gets better than this t-shirt anyway, so we're going with it. All right, now we gotta take down my little side pony. I'm just gonna brush my hair out. I've already used dry shampoo a pretty good amount this morning, so we're pretty much ready to party. Okay, clearly I've already done step one. I have bleach blonde fried hair, and step two is using the one, the only, Lee Stafford Original Chopstick Styler. You've probably seen this online before. This is just like the tiniest, curling wand you've ever seen in your entire life. It's kind of more of a rectangle shape rather than a circle, and it makes the tiniest, tightest, 80s perm curls you've ever seen in your life. My mom said she used like those little pink spongy curlers and she would set it with mousse 
every night every night my poor poor mother and her poofy poofy hair she was so cute but like i don't know how you could ever get used to sleeping in rollers i'm not doing that i'm gonna do this it takes a long time yes because you have to use really thin strands of hair but it works i plugged it in a minute ago while i was setting up there's really just an on off switch this is the most lightweight hair tool i've ever used in my life i got it on amazon it's not very expensive but it is a whole lot of fun especially if you're like a straight hair person like me let's do this okay everything is sectioned off and before i get started i'm gonna use this heat protectant it's the kenra platinum hot spray firm hold heat protection spray it's a heat protection spray that also adds hold whenever you're using a hot tool so you go through in sections spray it down and then use your straightener curling iron whatever chopstick tong whatever you've got going on Oh my gosh, it is not supposed to go like that. Sorry to yell at you, but did you see how that went down? Okay, that's what's not to do. That was hard to say. You need to hang on to the tail of your hair because you need to like unwrap it because it can get kind of stuck on the wand and then you start to panic like I just did. And so I just kind of ripped it off and now I have this really fun frizzy curl. Luckily, that will totally work for my look. <laughs> Okay, this is what you get when you curl your hair with the chopstick curler. It looks like Shirley Temple, Curly Sue, that one girl from Ozark, you know who I'm talking about. It's crazy, but this is not the finished product since it all cools down pretty quickly. So they set almost instantly. You can start from the bottom and start breaking them up with your fingers. I guess you could brush them. I think that would make it even more like frizzy crazy but I like to do it with my fingers at least to start with. So you just take one curl and you split it in half. You can split it into three parts if you want to make them smaller, but I'm just starting by breaking them up in half. Like here's a bigger one, so I'll definitely do this one in three. All right, here we are halfway through the process. We've got one side that is just like luscious, wonderful. And then the other side is still just like old school foam cords. All right, I feel like I look like a completely different person right now. I feel like I could lay down on the floor, sleep on tile because this is like a pillow. I love it. It's so different than my normal hair. The outfit is a lot. Yes, I can acknowledge that, but I feel like all together, like I'm doing it right. So for this hair, you really don't have to do too much else. Like, yeah, I could do a lot from here, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna part it over to the side and really fluff up this part. All of that dry shampoo comes in handy right now because then I get a lot of height and it's really easy to just like really, really fluff it out. I can also go in and add a little bit of tease or maybe texturizing powder. That would be great right now. I just wanna be really careful not to like fully brush it out. I wanna keep those curls. All right, I'm just trying to get some height right here we've got a little hairspray the 80s best friend i'm gonna really concentrate it up here and then on this side i'm gonna kind of just hold it out i want the hairspray to dry in this position because then whenever i put my head up it will kind of still be going outward like that oh my gosh it's so crazy okay let's do the same thing on this side Okay, this is the absolute look. Now the big question is, do I want to use the sweatband? I feel like it's going to crush all of my big hair dreams, but I have to at least try it. <laughs> no, no, this is not what I wanted. No, 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 no. 
I feel like they had like really skinny headbands. I don't have one of those though. So I think I'm just gonna go with this hair. <laughs> okay, if this is not the best fake 80s perm, I don't know what it is. I am so happy with my look. I need to finish up the costume, like put on my leg warmers and my shoes, and I need to get to aerobicizing. <laughs> All right, I got my shoes on, my leg warmers on. I've moved down to the TV, and this is where we're gonna do our workout. This workout is 45 minutes long. I am not sure I'm gonna do the whole thing because it's, it's been a little bit of a long day, and I'm really hungry, but I don't wanna take a break for dinner and then come back to it, so I'm gonna see how much I can get through. And I've actually never watched this, so I'm not sure how hard it is. Hopefully, it doesn't kill me. Like I said, I haven't been working out at all four months so we're just gonna have to see what happens i am a little bit sad about ruining this look i kind of want to go out i want to go to like the grocery store or something not with the outfit because the outfit is kind of crazy and it's kind of cold and rainy but at least the hair and the makeup i feel like people would see me and be like oh, you remind me of my golden years and then like I don't know, maybe that wouldn't happen. But in my mind, that's what I wish would happen. I've delayed it long enough. Grant is ready to help me turn this on. Oh, the music. give up right now because I'm kind of dying and I'm also really hungry and Luna is very concerned about me she's not used to me jumping around the living room these people are in really good shape like this is not a joke part of me is like oh yeah I'll just be like a silly cute thing but no this is really really hard but I decided just to finish it off I'm gonna do the part of the workout where the girl that's wearing my outfit inspiration is leading the class. Cause suddenly like the blue girl, she goes to the back and the yellow girl with the pink tights comes forward. And I'm living for that. So let's see if I can do it. Like, can you tell? I'm extremely out of breath. Like I'm worried I need to go to the gym. Oh, oh, pick it up the pace girl. You're over there yawning. <laughs> <sighs> my curls. Oh no, that was my whole part? Oh, I'm gonna do a little curl too. One, 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 two. Oh my gosh. What? This is not low impact. The 80s lied to you all. I've had enough. Oh, you're ready now? <laughs> Can you do it? What is the arm doing? You gotta do the arm. That's a good factor. What? Hold on. It's dinner time. Okay, I'm officially throwing in the towel. I'm really tired and I'm also really hungry and I'm officially sweaty, so I'm just gonna stop. That was actually really, really hard. They are not messing around. The 80s were not a joke. Also, I'm really out of shape. I did not mean for this video to turn into like an intervention on myself, but I definitely need to work out. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween costume tutorial, hair, makeup, costume, everything. Let me know if you try it. If you try it and you have pictures, please tag me on social media. It's Leanne Says everywhere. I love to talk to you guys over there. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want to. If you already have, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And yeah, keep an eye out for that social experiment. It's on the way. Also, my neighbors probably think we're crazy because they can totally see straight into our house. 
or at least I think they can, especially at night. So we better wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Wait, I just realized what this is. It's Twisted Sister. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. Shaking like a chihuahua. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Ow. Wow. I hurt my back. Totally 80s.